Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm sharing the products that I've picked up since moving to the UK. So this haul is primarily from Selfridges, Superdrug and Primark. So let's start with what I picked up at Selfridges. That was the last place I went to, so I still have the packaging for some of the items. So the first product I picked up is this Huda Beauty Lip Strobe, and I picked up the shade Sassy, which looks like this. And this is just an amazing high shine metallic lip gloss, but you can also pat it and take off the gloss, but still keep the high shine shimmer particles. So I have a tutorial where I've used this and I'm going to link it as a card right here but this is how it swatches so as you can see very pigmented it's not like those sheer glosses and it has a lot of shine and shimmer to it i love to wear this just on its own some days and also as layering up over other lipsticks the second product i picked up is this laura mercier foundation and I have a full in-depth review about this foundation and again I'm going to just link it as a card right here if you'd like to check it out. Now let's move on to the products I picked up at Primark. So first I got three of these high quality clips which are really nice and sturdy and I got all three of them for one pound. Next you know that I have oily skin so I had to pick up some blotting sheets to try. This pack was just one pound and I've used it a couple of times. The only difference is that these sheets are really thin. They almost feel like the wax paper that you use for baking or parchment paper. So that's the only con, but otherwise it does absorb all the excess oil just like any other blotting sheet. Next, I was very excited to find this, which is their Micellar Cleansing Water, Rose and Vitamin E, and it says it's for all skin types. And I picked this one up because I thought it would be a great product to compare against my all-time favorite, which is the Bioderma Micellar Water. So I was very happy to try this, but this one really irritates my eyes, so I can use it on the rest of my face or for removing swatches from my hands, but I just cannot use it to remove my eye makeup. So... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting this. And then also from Primark, I bought a set of two of these head wraps. One of these is well used, so it's kind of dirty. But this is what I use to wrap around my hair while washing my makeup off so that the makeup doesn't get into the hairline. So yeah, this was about one or two pounds and I really liked it. I, I like the small one because it's easier for me to get around my head, but I think this larger one is kind of small for my head but it's still worth the price. Another makeup remover that I picked up from my next trip to Primark is this eye makeup remover. It has these two layers, so you just basically shake it up and it's good for removing waterproof or water resistant eye products as well. So I've been using this and it's kind of okay, but it still kind of irritates my eyes. So it's okay for eyeshadow, but I wouldn't use it too close to my eyes to remove mascara or anything like that. So another product that I didn't really like from Primark. And finally, I picked up these two lip pencils from Primark. This is their Primark lip liner pencil. I picked up the shades Toffee and Red Velvet, and I'm going to swatch it for you guys. So this pinky mauve one is Red Velvet, and this brown one is Toffee. Both are lovely shades, and I quite like them. So both of these go on super creamy and they don't last super long, like all day long, but I do like it for lining my lips. Moving on to things I picked up from Superdrug and also sometimes from Morrison's, that's where we go for our groceries. So I did pick up these facial wipes from, I believe Morrison's, but I'm not exactly sure. And I use these basically for removing my swatches. Generally, I don't like using these wipes on the face just because you have to rub to remove the makeup and it's kind of exfoliating and if you do suffer from acne the last thing you want to do is break a pimple or acne and you know spread the bacteria around so i just use an oil remover for that but as i said i do like using these wipes for removing swatches on my hands i know there's a lot of products that i use to remove swatches i genuinely love swatching products by the way all the products mentioned will be listed in the description box below if you'd like to check it out now, since the other two makeup removers kind of failed, I did go and buy another one. This is by Garnier and it's their Micellar Cleansing Water. And this is probably the closest one to the Bioderma one and it does not irritate my eyes. 
So therefore I can use this to remove any residual mascara or eyeliner that I may still have in my waterline. So I would recommend this product. The next product I picked up is this much loved, my current favorite mascara, which is the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. And I have a full review again on this product and I'm going to list it right here as a card. Now this next product really excited me when I saw the packaging because it reminded me of a high-end product. So it's this Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Matte Lip Kit or Lip Contour Kit. And this packaging reminded me of, I believe it's the Kylie Lip Contour Kit. So this comes with both the liquid lipstick and a lip pencil. And I picked up the shade Regal. So this is what the products inside look like. They look beautiful, but they are just rubbish. I would definitely not recommend getting this one. The color is good, but it's just super drying on the lips and kind of flakes off. And then the lip liner came broken, which I was pissed off about. And it's really dry. So this is the lip liner that comes with it, and this is the liquid lipstick. Both are quite drying, and therefore I wouldn't recommend getting this kit. So the next product I picked up is by MUA or Makeup Academy, and it's their Custom Color Foundation Mixer. And this is the shade Deepening Medium. So this is what the product looks like. And if I spread it out, so against my skin tone, this is what it looks like. So it's great for deepening up my foundations. It's also good as a bronzer on the periphery of my face. So you can use it as that, but I generally like to use it to deepen up my foundations. So yeah, let me know if you'd like a review on this and in general on how to adjust the shade of a foundation if it's not right for you. So that's it guys, that's all the products I've picked up. Hopefully I haven't missed or forgotten any just because it's been so long since I shopped for it, but hopefully these are all the products that I picked up and I didn't miss any. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Open eye, feel the waves cut through me